Hello everybody and welcome back to Transport Fever. <laughs> we had a slight disaster there. I was about to start bulldozing all these trees and I accidentally hit the bus stop and crashed the game. <laughs> Fortunately we'd had an auto save um, <clears throat> while I were building this. So when I reloaded it this was partly built. Uh, so I just went back and redid it again. <laughs> oh, If it hadn't been for that timed auto save I would have lost all of that. I'd have been I'd have been cursing. <laughs> okay, so we've got a, a little graveyard. Got some benches around the place. Sorry, it's a bit jittery. I've just loaded it up again. Um, got church in here. There's a people magnet in there. All these houses are set to low. <laughs> I'm going to set it off again in a minute and watch all the madness because we get a load more traffic coming this way. Um, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to do the caravan park in here. Um, might take that road out. I've left a little bit of room to get a few shops in and things. Um, I was going to put this on the beach. Right, I've got a new mod. Um, the bulldozer. Let's see if we can find it. After that little disaster, I thought I'd try this out. I spotted this a while ago, but I, I've been meaning to install it, but um, just kept forgetting. <laughs> But there is a mod that you can bulldoze areas. It's not in the bulldozer itself, is it? No. It should be in here somewhere. Unless it's ah, there it is. Can be used to bulldoze a lot of areas at once. Right, so let's start assets. Sorry about the dogs. Let's see if we can get rid of all these trees in one go. Like I said, I've not used this before, so. Let's see what happens. All those. Oh! That was easy. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm definitely using that again. That saved loads of messing about. <laughs> He's sat here clicking, clicking like mad. Right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put a, a beach along here. Um let's stick a few shops in, I don't know. Maybe a few little ones here and there. That's looking quite good. The market and everything, and the church, and there's going to be a campsite, caravans. Anyway, we're going to do that next. You know, I keep sort of putting things off because of the time span and thinking I don't want to do stuff too early. But I'm, I'm needing to, I'm wanting to get this expanded, get all this filled in. I haven't totally decided what I'm doing over here yet, but I'm going to do something. I think I might actually put a train station in here as well, you know. And I was thinking up here, I'm going to put a train station in here and then we're going to have a, a an area full of high-rise buildings and stuff. I'll put a train station there. And then we can just sort of, you know, create a sort of fake area where the AI is not going to not going to be building. We'll just put loads like these, loads of residential down. Let's have a look what goes what goes on here when we hit the play button. Here we go. <laughs> They're coming from everywhere. Traffic jams. Yep. <laughs> this only happens when you, because I've put so many houses down, they all come out at once, so it's always going to be madness to start with. Some of should head off down here, because there's a, I put some industrial magnets down here, so we've got a few jobs, keep them in and around the town, stop them having to leave to go to work. 
because there's loads of commercial down here and there's all the magnets in here are commercial and that one's commercial I thought I'd put better put a few industrial ones in as well just just keep people in the town oh, wandering around the market <laughs> yeah so um, I think we want to crack on and get this bit done I'm going to do a beach area here as well on this side. And get rid of these trees out of here. Let's try the new bulldozer tool again. I'll whack it back on plan. Why haven't I used that before? <laughs> oh, that makes life so much easier. Pull a few to delete quick. Just do it this way. Hmm, right. to do that. I've put a load of money in the bank. You probably saw that during the clip. I did edit <laughs> most of it out because I was there for ages and ages clicking the button. <laughs> I saw a finger afterwards. <laughs> this, uh, these roads are a bit steep but there's no buses coming down here anyway so it's not too bad. That's a bit of character to the town. Look at this traffic jam coming out of here. Say so where are you going? Shop, shop, shop. <laughs> Work, shop, shop, shop. <laughs> oh, she'll know where it's sold. Dogs are going mental. <laughs> right, um, I think next door's cats outside. Right, <laughs> I'm gonna, uh, I'm going to tackle this, I reckon. All right, I'll see you in a bit.
Okay, so that's the first part of the uh, caravan parking. That looks quite good. quite like that. There's a few little assets here and there. I could have put loads more in. Stuck a few barbecues over here and stuff, but you, you can barely see them. <laughs> Especially when I start chucking a few bushes in. And a few of the cars are a bit modern, I know. But uh, it saves me changing them later. There's a bit of a tent area here, I think. We'll have a bit more of a campsite up here somewhere. And there'll be more. Have you <laughs> loads of updates as well. Um, so we'll go and have a look at them in a minute. Um, so yeah, I'm going to put more caravans in here. Um, extend this bit a bit more. And then I'll have, we'll have some camping up here. Maybe take it up here and do a bit of a sort of forest area, woodland area with some paths and things, maybe. That's coming on. That looks quite good. Parking in the middle there. <laughs> I did leave it running. I was hoping the traffic would... Uh, alleviate itself but we've got a huge traffic jam coming in <laughs> that's about going that way I might go and turn a load of them houses off <laughs> see how it goes the buses aren't going anywhere at the moment they're all stuck on here let's just see if it I can hear my dog trotting about behind me. So see if it clears it. Oops. Zoomed out on its own then. See, I think this is all the people coming back in, so they should start coming out more gradually. He says, hopefully. I was thinking of changing that bus route up as well. Might bring it down here. Have a bus stop here. And then bring it maybe down here, have a bus stop there. Not sure yet. This traffic's going to be a bit of a problem now. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to turn a load of these houses off. You know, I tried to paint her on this. <laughs> didn't like it, and it left me a big ridge under there as well, so I just went and did it by hand. There's that flashing light again. There, look. <laughs> now I'm going to stick a few people in and around here as well. Some people laying down on here and stuff. Needs to be some people magnets in as well. Stick some. Uh, that's like a stick load of commercial people magnets in. It might send people. Are you kidding? Hey! Sorry. <laughs> yeah, my dog in the background. <laughs> yeah, a stick load of commercial in it. Let's see if this sort of draws some of the traffic. Sorry about that. Dog's having a mad five minutes. Yeah, what I'm thinking is because lots of people are heading into town to the shops, so if we give them commercial opportunities to come here instead, they might actually not go in the cars as much. Just be a case of 
letting it play on for a while. I'll see. I'll come back to it in a bit. See how it's uh, see how it's doing. All buses are stuck. Do you mind you? Yes, you. <laughs> Looking at me like, what? <laughs> I was shouting at something. <laughs> I might have to stick a few more buses on there. You know. I think this queue's going down anytime soon. 56 people waiting there. Somebody's on this side. 44 there. They're getting picked up first. So I think uh, bus stops. Yeah, I'll finish off this park and then uh, I'll have a look at the bus route in a bit. Right, let's go and have a look at what we've got up to upgrade. We've got all sorts coming. Um, you kill the frame rate, why don't you? Right, stop panning about. We could put electric. No, let's not mess with that. Right, let's have a look at the bus. No passenger. So we've got that's what we're running. Just 31 carries 10. That's just 37 carries 12. That's a finished bus. And we've got the Soratusha. That carries 13, just 31. Which one we want? Let's go with that one. Computer living a bit of a bit of a moan at me. I don't know if you can hear it rattling in the background now. I think I just might have to pause it a second. Let's calm down a bit. Um, oh yeah, look at this bus. Just kill that a second. Rather fancy wheels. <laughs> a bit of an odd looking thing. Got alloys. <laughs> right. So what we got next? So. Let's have a look at the goods delivery. So we're running 280 to 2800 on there. Let's go and have a compare. So that's what we're running. It'll do 60. Oh, these are uh, passengers. That's goods. Five sixty. Zoom they're cheaper to run. Sixty, not as powerful. We've got the ooh. Streamline four six two steam locomotive designed by Nigel Gresley for the London and North Eastern Railway. Mallard. Four four six eight Mallard still holds a world record as the fastest steam locomotive. I think we'll have them. So I think I'll have them on there. Mm, not up to 1950 yet. We'll get the new naffies in 1950. So let's get rid of that. Stick you on. Yes. Where are we? I'm just coming up to the. Um, Farm. I think he's going to look like that much 
that's different. Definitely get the mallard on the go. <laughs> She'll go a bit faster now, though. Right, so let's go on and do the other goods trains. Not gonna have the money for this. I should just go and put no costs on. Let me have to do port barrels. Um, yeah, I'm gonna no cost it because I'm sick of placing the port barrels down. They keep running out of money. Right, I'm gonna go and stick no cost on for a bit. We're we'll back in a sec. Right, I've put no costs on. What I should have done is gonna stick a load of money in the uh, bank first because then the port barrel mod won't work. Um, but you do still get paid, so the money should run up pretty quickly. <laughs> do you mind? <laughs> I think we're. Uh, I think if I put that train station in here as well, and that'll help with some of the traffic. Maybe I was thinking maybe put it here and then send that train, send those trains back out. Ah, oh, but hmm, I want this crossing here. <laughs> Can you hear that nutter? <laughs> Not the best time to be recording. <laughs> um. Yeah, I'm just waiting for money coming in now. Right, we're up to 60 million. Let's get another train upgraded. Right, so we did goods transfer. So goods transfer west. That needs doing. Oh yeah, I don't need to wipe the money, I've got costs off the door. Um, now look at the trucks, what new trucks have we got? Got the Opal Blitz. Carry 11, do 37. Um, we're running those at Carry 10. I don't think we need to upgrade them. Right, let's... By the line. The only thing with only upgrading the um, locos as well is the carriages stay at the same age. But um, I'll go and do that a bit later. Seat bus. God, you can have these seashoes. Have a look at them. I'm not upgrading my ships. <laughs> oh, what am I looking at? Oh, German trains are really quick. Nope, stick them in the British trains. Mostly. He says with Swiss buses and German buses. I don't think there's an upgrade to these yet. No, there's only that narrow gauge one at the moment. Right. I'm not grading my horses. Oh, that's the other train line as well. Right, so our main line, let's go up and look at this. Oh, and the vehicle replacement. Let's kill the train off. So we want the 
My lad. Well, we've got medium speed tracks on everywhere anyway, so why am I running at high speed still? Duh. Um right, they'll do ninety. Have I got a carriage that'll do ninety? What do these do? They do eighty. I don't really stick anything else on there. It's going to be them. Well, my lad will have to stay at uh, 80 mile an hour. We need carriages for that. I'm going to have to go and have a look what carriages it took. Um, how powerful is it? Oh, yeah. It's good. How many people have I got on the line? 319 out of 896, okay. Let's go 1, 2, 3, 4 then. Just up it a bit. I think on this one. How many is using this? This is. This is the Valley Transfer. There's only 28 people on it. <laughs> the Earl class nickname Duke Dogs New sixty also goods these are all goods My lad's a bit of an overkill. <laughs> Don't really need it. Why don't we stick that on? That's 60. Now we'll stick with the cholesterol. So we'll go one, two, three. I'm going to break coach. Because I do 60. Just to have something a bit different on there. Right, so we've got a malad. Oh yeah. He's rocking along at 80 there. Let's, um, let's go up for another one because that track over there is horrible coming out of the town. You're on your way down there. Where's this one? He's heading for Seaton. Oh, he's on his way back from there. Yeah, let's have a ride into town, actually. Just before we do that, let me just pause a second, because... We've got the track speed mod on here, so... What we're going to do is slow the train down before it hits the station. Right, so. Forty. We don't want catenary. Let's just... Let's drop it to 40 there. Let's do 60. Right, those 40 up to is there. So we'll do 60 there. Drop it to 80 going over the bridge. Yeah. 80 kilometres. Can't remember what that is in 
That was an eye. We're having a wrestling match in the background. <laughs> right, so <laughs> let's um, let's go forty here. Forty, forty, forty. What's the? Um, it doesn't really matter because I'm not going to have catenary on anyway. Go 40 to there, and we'll do 60 through here. <laughs> Lunatics. <laughs> Alright, I think I did the wrong bit of track there, but never mind. Oh, give me that, give me this bit here, that bit, that's it. Now I want these crossovers. Oh. Has it done it? Yeah. I'm sitting here with my head on one side, I don't know why. <laughs> right. That's 60 going out of there, okay. Let's go back on the train again. Oh, sorry about these nutcases. Where was it? Here it is. <laughs> but we need to do some decorating up here. I think, yeah, I think we're definitely putting a train. Why am I pointing to a screen? You can't see me. Definitely putting a train station in over here, across this uh, little fishing village. Dropping to 50 on the bridge. That's good. Gives us a nice view of the castle on the way in. And the traffic jam on the bridge. <laughs> We're both stuck in the middle. Are we there yet? How long did it take to get to this bloody beach? <laughs> yeah, we've got the castle there. That's, that's a good view of the castle on the way out. We're slowing up again. It's a bit more realistic coming into the train station slowly. Especially as we approach into town. Probably going to speed up again as we get into the station. <laughs> See if he pulls away at all. Yeah, that one on the left just accelerated a little bit. That's alright, that's not too bad. You're always going to get a little bit of acceleration there because I can't change the track speeds in the actual station. Could do maybe up in this a little bit. This slows down there, just coming out. I think I might hold that to 60 all along there. It gets out of the station a bit quicker. Why did he stop there? Oh, there's a train crossing, that's why. Yes, it's looking good, coming through here now. Billboards and stuff. <laughs> I need to, I need to go and upgrade them. I might just leave, leave them on. Little old heritage. Definitely going to do a train museum somewhere at some point. Am I 
getting up a bit of steam here. Yeah. Start accelerating coming out of here pretty soon. There we go. Did I do all of this? I must have done. <laughs> I'm going to have to go and sort that out. I've done too much. Some medium speed tracks over there. Oh, to say, I thought I crashed it again there. Did I mention that I crashed it before? <laughs> there we go, that's a bit better. They should, uh, they should come out there a bit quicker now. Let's change that up. Well, we're here. Sixty. So I've come out of the station a bit quicker there. Great passing shots. Just as the tram comes through, <laughs> I'll go there. Doing quite well for frame rate. Um, it's one of the reasons I'm getting so much done at the moment, though, is because at some point frame rate is just going to crash. <laughs> I mean, I'm down. I'm getting 30s. Yeah, I'm getting 30s over in the main town, which is pretty good. 20s when I move. 24, 26 here. So, I don't know how much longer I'm going to be able to run it on for. I want to get, um, I get quite a bit more done yet though. I want, to, I want to fill this side in at least and get this area done so I can get some flyovers. And I might just fill this in with a few trees and stuff. Fill the gaps in in town. Yeah, so I don't know how many more episodes I've got in this game. Uh, see how long, how much longer my computer will hold out for. And it's occasionally getting a little bit jittery, but that's not too bad a sign. But, um, yeah, I'm liking these, my lads. I'm sure my brother had one of these on a train set when he was a kid. <laughs> Many years ago. <laughs> right. So. We've got a traffic jam. <laughs> we've got a caravan park. We've got people wandering around now. Good. We've got dogs barking. <laughs> Sound effects as well, you see. <laughs> Unintentional ones. Sorry about it. So, um. Did I put any, yeah, I did put some people magnets in around here as well. Yeah. So I'm going to go and do the same again over here. Um, do another camping area. Like I said, I might sort of do a camping area over here and then figure out where the train station's going. I don't want to have to run a bus down there from the train station. <laughs> it's total gridlock. <laughs> You're just stuck. <laughs> Not going anywhere. Yeah, I think a few of the houses need to be turned off. Ah, well. I don't mind the traffic jam. <laughs> or several. <laughs> I have to wait a bit to get out of there. Bus is full, of course. Right. 
I'm going to call it a night. Oh, I don't know how long I've been recording for and how long the time lapses are going to take. I'm going to go and edit it all together. I'm going to relax with a couple of beers while it sorts itself out. Right, so thank you very much again for watching. Um, thanks again to everyone who's liking and subscribing and for the nice comments as well. Um, I really do appreciate it. It's good, it's great. Up to 220 something subscribers now, which I'm really happy with. So, thanks every, thanks to everybody that's watching through my series, even if you're skipping some bits or fast forwarding, I don't mind. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, leave us a comment down there if you feel like it. Ask any questions, if you want to know any particular mods, leave me a comment and ask, and I'll, I'll certainly answer and I'll tell you which mod I'm using for which piece because I've got quite a number of different mods making this up. Um, like I say, I'm, I'm running about 200 mods all, all together at the moment. That's a lot. So I've had an idea for, well I've sort of been thinking a little bit about what I'm going to do on the next map because I know this, I know, I know I'm not going to be able to run this for a great deal longer. Um, we seem to be doing all right, but I'm I'm hitting quite a high frame rate here, uh, a low frame rate here. I mean, sorry. What train? Oh, it's this. That's what's moaning. That's been coming up and coming up. Right, where's the? Um Right, there's a passenger. Where's the engine? Is that it? Diesel, yeah. So one of them. One, two, three of them. Right, I'm just going to set that to auto replace. I'll sort itself out. And just have a quick look just before I go. Oh, goods ferries need upgrading. They're 41 years old. Good go. And the narrow gauge. They're 40 years old. Mini train. That should upgrade itself soon. Ferries. Alright, so I definitely need to upgrade them. Which I shall do before the next episode. Yes, thanks again for watching. I'll see you all very soon. Good night.